Hello, owner students. How are you? Let's speak about of studies. In his essay of of studies, Francis Bacon discussed the value and the purpose of this study. He argues that studies serve for delight, for ornament, and for ability. Studies for delight. Bacon believes that people should study for their own pleasure because it brings them joy and satisfaction. He writes, certainly, if a man writes little yet, if he requires much and writes not amiss, he does herself more honor than another that writes much but requires nothing. Of studies, also can show a studies for ornament. Bacon argues that studies can also serve as an ornament to enhance a person's reputation and social standing. He writes like reading makes a full man conference, a ready man, and a writing an exact man. Of studies can also show the studies of ability. Finally, Bacon asserts that studies are essential for the development of one's abilities and acquisition of knowledge and skills. He writes histories make men wise, poets witty, and mathematics subtle, natural philosophy deep, moral grave, logic and rhetoric able to contend. Bacon also talks about negative effects of studies, such as the lack of balance in reading and misapplying the knowledge that has been gained. He warns against spending too much reading about one subject, which can lead to narrowness of perspective and lack of depth in knowledge. He advises on applying the knowledge rather than stacking it. As an example for, from the text, and therefore, if a man writes a type a little, yet if he requires much and writes not amiss, he does himself more honor than another that writes much but requires nothing. This statement of Bacon reflects on the importance of applying the knowledge gained through studies rather than just acquiring it for its own sake. Whether you agree with Francis Bacon or you disagree, if you think that you learned something new, thumb up for like, drop a comment if you have one, share with others, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell so you can get the latest of English literature and English history with Karima. See you soon. Bye.